let me just move this placeholder out of the way. And now that I'm in your viewport, let's talk about native Angular deferred loading. Also, hi, I'm Jessica Janik, a senior software engineer on the Angular Framework team. Angular has supported native deferred loading of individual routes for some time now, and this is a great way to reduce your initial bundle size. However, if you've wanted to optimize your initial load and initial bundle size even further, your options have been limited. Defer loading individual components has not been an ergonomic experience and required advanced skills and a significant amount of code to make possible. We opened an RFC, a request for comment, with our vision for deferred loading and you all loved it. Since then, we've been hard at work building this new feature and we're proud to say that as of v17, the new defer block is available as a developer preview. That's right. You don't have to await anymore to see this promise resolved. Let's take a quick look at how you can make use of this in your applications. Defer works in your components template and allows you to separate out chunks of content that you'd like to be deferred loaded. Here's an example of a component where we have a few large components referenced in a section of your template that we'd like to load later so that they're not part of the initial bundle. Using Angular's new block syntax for templates will add a new defer block around the area of the content we'd like to defer load. And don't worry, it's non-blocking. Each defer block requires a condition or trigger to specify exactly when defer loading happens. You can use these triggers with the new on clause. Let's load the large component when a specific element enters the viewport. Defer on viewport will trigger the fetching of your content once the provided element reference enters the viewport. Angular provides several built-in triggers for you to use in your applications. These include idle to load as soon as your browser reports it's in an idle state, interaction to load whenever something is clicked on, focused, or similar behavior, viewport to load when the content enters the client's viewport window, Hover, to load when the mouse is hovering over an area. Timer, to load after a specific timeout. And Immediate, to defer load right away after the defer block is rendered. You can use one of these triggers with an on clause. Here's an example. We're going to go with defer on viewport. What if one of the built-in triggers doesn't provide the functionality you need? Well, you can create a custom trigger. You can use the new when clause to provide whatever condition works for your application. In this example, once the when condition becomes true, the deferred loading is triggered. You can also mix and match to provide the exact conditions you're looking for. This affords you the perfect flexibility for your application. What if you'd like to prefetch your dependencies? Well, defer has your back. Just add prefetch on using one of the already mentioned triggers. Or similarly, you can provide a custom condition using prefetch when, and your deferred dependencies will be prefetched. That's not all we have for you, though. The new defer blocks also offer several additional areas for you to provide content that will show in various phases of your defer loading. For example, Perhaps you want to show a placeholder before your deferred content loads. You can add that to the at placeholder section of the defer block. Maybe you'd like to show a loading spinner while the content is actively being fetched. You can do that too with the at loading section. I'm sure your spinner will be very fetching. For both of these, you can specify a minimum amount of time these templates are shown to prevent flickering in the case that the loading is super fast. The at loading template lets you also add a max length of time to wait before showing the loading template. That way, if your server responds super fast, the loading template wouldn't show at all. And if anything goes wrong, we have a place for that too. The at error template. Testing a defer block is a breeze too. 
We've provided a defer testing fixture that will let you manually cycle through a defer block's phases so you can verify at each step of the way that your defer block is configured exactly how you want. It's built right into the component fixture, so you'll feel right at home in the test environment. It certainly won't test your patience. Angular V17's new defer blocks offer you the ultimate in flexibility for defer loading whatever content you want. You can now optimize your initial load and bundle size to your heart's content. You can try out the developer preview of defer blocks right now with the V17 release. For more details and all the documentation, check out our brand new deferred loading guide. What's the best way to use these defer blocks? Well, to answer that, I defer to you. Live long and prosper, my friends.